I sure am glad you asked that question because it's going much faster than we ever thought it would. As you know, a few years ago, we began doing that because it must have been five years ago that our colleague Katsuhiko Hayashi in Kyushu, Japan, uh, first demonstrated this in the mouse. And he's quite an honest uh, researcher. He's brilliant. He will be getting a Nobel Prize. Uh, I'm just certain of that. And uh, he was able to make baby mice uh, from eggs that were developed from just the skin of what was the mother. Uh, no ovaries, no, no eggs to start with. And uh, it's a matter of just, these Japanese are very, very clever the way they figured out how to do this. There may be many, many genes involved in making a testicle or making an ovary or making an egg or a sperm, many, many, many genes. But there's usually just a few core genes that are necessary that trigger all the downstream genes that then work together to do this magnificent thing of making an oocyte. And so they, in fact, we only need four genes to turn any skin cell into a stem cell. You don't need embryonic stem cells. You just need a skin biopsy. So now we're applying that in the human. And uh, we uh, have already gone about halfway and that we can make these things called PGCs in the human, primordial germ cells. So that's pretty exciting. And they have to be incubated then in uh, the equivalent of fetal granulosa cells to make eggs just to duplicate what happens in the mouse. And uh, Hayashi just published a few months ago in Nature, and he's our scientific colleague, Hayashi in Japan, and Andrew Clark in uh, UCLA, and then us in St. Louis, and we do the clinical work and they do the basic science. And so it's a three-way project to make these eggs. And we're funded really extremely well. We don't really need NIH funding or there's no politics to this or anything to worry about because uh, uh, we're not really using or destroying human embryos or human life. But in any event, our funding is quite solid for this research. And now just eight core genes are all that's necessary to turn a stem cell into an oocyte-like cell. Now you still need fetal granulosa cells, but we think we can make those with a few more core genes. And so we're just finding the minimum number of genes that are necessary to incubate with these skin biopsy cells that will trigger all the downstream genetic events that will result in making an egg. And it's happening much faster than I thought it would. So I'm predicting we'll be able to do this within five years in the human. But I think we're going to have to do safety testing and all kinds of uh, uh, extensive trials uh, that uh, are going to be very carefully reviewed by FDA and CDC and everybody you can imagine. So it might be 10 years. But in terms of really being able to do it, I, I'm predicting five years, maybe less.